the ONTV Cooking Show and welcome to the ONTV Kitchen. I'm Tracy and I have worked for ONTV for 11 years now, I think, Peggy. <laughs> it's been 11 years. I'm pretty much a permanent fixture here. Um, and this is my friend Peggy. She is a volunteer here at ONTV and she has been around for I don't know how long. Oh, I've maybe eight or nine years. Eight or nine years herself. Yes. She does a lot with us. She has her own show called you're kind of a big kind of deal. A, and you are kind of a big deal. And so Heidi. are you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. So today we are going to make a quick meal. Basically it's for a weekday meal, a quick meal for kids. Um, anybody can do it. It's really easy. Um, I started the prep already, but basically what you need to start with is just a pound of hamburger, ground it up, put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, drain it. So now we have our basic hamburger here. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to mix it with some cream of mushroom soup. Now there cream are cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom. Is there any alternatives we can use? There oh, are some are alternatives. Cream of mushroom. <laughs> I know cream of mushroom is not my favorite either but this is the quickest way to make it and a lot of people do like it and a lot of kids like it and they don't even taste the mushrooms. Okay. Um, the other alternative that what I usually do is use chicken broth. And if you use some chicken broth, you want to thicken it up a little bit with some flour, and that'll make the consistency for you. So, well, if you wanted to add vegetables, you could do cream of broccoli. You can you can do cream of broccoli, yes. or you can just add frozen broccoli. <laughs> so, can we mention that it's really really cold outside, it's and this is a hundred percent comfort food? <laughs> it's comfort for food for winter. It yes. is comfort food. Yeah. What is the degrees? One. <laughs> Uh, 14. One degrees. <laughs> it was 14. <laughs> Pretty this frigid. I know. I read a, a, a Facebook post this morning. As somebody had to use their hair dryer to get their door open. So well, oh, that's how cold. <laughs> it is very cold. <laughs> it is January, you know. Well, comfort yes. food is a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. This is not really a summer meal. No, nope, it's is not. A wonderful winter, freezing cold. Michigan. Yeah, 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 yeah. So well, we're not alone. I heard today on the radio that. Um, like a huge portion of the United States is in a winter freeze. It is. Tracy, so. It is. And yes. if I hear the word winter vortex one more time. <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago when we first heard that word, I was like, okay, I don't want to hear that word anymore. Okay. So are we now ready? we've done our mixture here. So now we're just going to, I don't need this spoon, I don't think. Move that out of the way. I would be happy gonna, to assist you. I know, thank you. The dishes. <laughs> We're gonna just put this. This is, is actually an, uh, a nine by nine, eight by eight square pan. I can't remember the exact measurements. I think it's an eight by eight, and you can use a nine by thirteen baking pan. But if you do that, if you have more people to feed, um, you're gonna need a little bit more than a pound of hamburger. <laughs> You can so use two pounds. You, you can use a pound and a half, or you can use two yeah. pounds of hamburger, but yeah, okay. it'll just be that way. Okay. It looks so now, a like mud with snow It looks it. like mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. We're going to cover this mud up, okay? Okay, let's cover the mud. <laughs> we're going to make it look a little bit better than what it is. All right, good. <laughs> okay. Um, this out of the way. All right. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the kids' favorite, which is tater tots. So you just take these frozen tater tots and you just have to line, them, line them, up like them all up. Line them up like oh soldiers. Oh my goodness. Yep. So like Legos. this takes a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can build on it if you want to. Okay. <laughs> like Legos. <laughs> all right. Hey, you're so funny. So, so now see, this is the difference between uh, an artist cooking a right brain and a left brain because I would throw them in and then organize them all. Okay. Just so there was no well, bare space. Well, <laughs> funny you say that. <laughs> so you can do that. Or you can take shredded uh, potatoes also. Oh, you can do hash browns. You okay. can do hash browns. And, and you know, that way you don't have to line them up. So like another healthier soldiers. alternative, even though this isn't very healthy at all, yes. it's wonderfully yummy comfort food, is to use sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is all the rage right now. So if you really want to make this healthier, then that's the way to go. And okay. right now, everybody is sweet potato this, sweet potato now, that. Now, if you're going to put vegetables in, you would put them in with the hamburger? I would put them in with the hamburger um, and mix them in. Or 
after you put the layer of hamburger and, and sauce on, you can layer um, some vegetables on there no matter what it is. It can be frozen peas, it can be carrots, it can okay. be corn, it can be frozen broccoli, whatever it is. You, you don't have to mix it in with the hamburger if you don't okay. want to. So, so now, here we go. It's beautiful. We, we, we have beautiful hair. It's all beautiful. We have beautiful all tater tots. <laughs> <laughs> and all then right. our last thing we want to do, this is about um, two cups of cheddar cheese that is shredded. You can use a blend of cheeses. You can use any kind of cheese that you like if, there, if cheddar is not your bag. Um, yes. But Asiago thank, Parmesan. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love that stuff. So do I. I do. It's so yummy. I do. Yep. I can eat cheese all day. <laughs> cheese is the way to go. How simple? It is very simple. It's very quick. It, the kids are going to love it. They, they eat this stuff up. No pun intended here since we're doing a cooking show, right? It's okay. <laughs> it's all good. So, yeah, and this is about, um, like I said, about two cups of cheese. And then you want to set your oven to 350, and then you want to bake it for about 30, 35 minutes or so. So okay. we are going to do that right now. Wonderful. Pop it in there. Okay. And we're going to let that set. Let that go for about 30 minutes, and then timer. we'll show you our, yeah, we'll set the timer, and we'll show you, <laughs> we'll show you our finished product when we get back. So we're going to take a, um, just before a, you go, yes, I just want to let you know, yes. I use my timer on my stove for everything. So for you know what, I, I don't like doing dishes, and I hate emptying the dishwasher. Yeah. So As, after they're clean, you have to put them away, right? Right. It's like folding laundry. Right. It's all good, but then you have to put it away. So do you know... I put my <laughs> timer for four minutes, and it only takes three minutes and 40 seconds to empty the entire dishwasher and put everything away. And you've timed yourself. Yes, and, and I, you. I play a game. Well, it's like a game. Well, yeah. <laughs> so next time you make this, I want to see how fast you can We're put the tater tots put the tater in order. tater tots in order, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll do it one more time just for you, Peggy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, as our old friend Rachel Ray would say, grab a snack and come right back. Okay. ONTV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10-week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and non-linear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ONTV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Okay, welcome back. Um, I think our tater tot casserole is done, so we're going to check it and pull it out and see what we got. Okay, oh, it looks wonderful. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. So the beautiful. kiddos are going to love this, you guys. The kiddos are going to love this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So this is actually our final product. It's bubbly, cheesy good. All this goodness. Um, if it wasn't so hot, we would do a taste test. But this is really basically the easiest meal you can do for your kids, and your kids are going to love it. <laughs> Again. I want the cheese that's like kind of burned. That's always the it best part. It is the part. best part, isn't it? I know. It is the best part. Okay. So, so uh, tater tot casserole is the name of this recipe. And both recipes for the tater tot casserole and for Baby Yoda will be on our webpage at ONTV. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with the Baby Yoda cocktail. Have you ever thought of producing your own podcast? ONTV offers the facilities, equipment, and training to help you get your own podcast off the ground. Learn how to record your show and get it out to the world. Cost is $25 per person, which gives you access to ONTV's podcast room and equipment. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Now, 
out that we made an easy meal for the kids that the kids are going to love that doesn't take hardly any time at all. We're on to the adults. So we are going to do an adult beverage and we're going to make a Baby Yoda cocktail. So for anybody that's interested in that, it can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic, however you would like to do it. Today we are going to make an alcoholic one. So you take your glass, it can be a margarita glass, it can be a wine glass, it can be whatever kind of glass you want. Um, I have this special little glass that I got from my grandmother who brought it over from Holland with her, so this glass is special to me. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. So all you need is a lime and some olives and whatever beverages that you would like to have in your drink. So we're going to cut the lime lengthwise. I'm going to go ahead this way here. Whoops, one more time. I guess I'll keep it this way. <laughs> It smells so good. Uh, the lime? Yeah. Yeah. I want some key it's lime pie. It's fresh. <laughs> it's fresh. Yep. This is, this plate doesn't want to stand still. Here we go. Okay. So then you just cut your limes lengthwise and then make a little slit in between each lime. Like so. Thank okay. You. There you go, ma'am. All right. All right. So now, um, the first thing we want to do is we want to wrap the glass. Um, we have brown napkins that we just got at the dollar store. That's the cheapest way to go. Um, you can use burlap bag, little pieces of brown fabric. Um, you can get them at Joann's or Michael's. If you're anybody like Peggy here, who is an actual seamstress, Loose she has or got <laughs> felt or yeah. she's got every color in the world. A so, blanket, so yeah, cut it up in pieces. So she's not going to have any problem. <laughs> and if I would have thought, I would have asked her to bring some material with her. But we're going to use these brown napkins that we got at the dollar store. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap the. You can. Make, however big your glass is, whether it's a margarita glass or a wine glass, you kind of want to make your napkin about the size of the stem. So if you need to fold it over or whatever you need to do to kind of make it work. Can I have a piece of tape, please? You can have a piece of tape, yes. Thank you. I think this is the trickiest part of the It tape. is. It's the, it's it's the hardest the dress part. For Yoda. So you want to, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're making the dress for Yoda. Right. All right. So we are okay. going to... There we go. I'm going to turn mine around. There we go. Okay. Yoda's dressed. All right. Baby Yoda. So I am, my, my glass is so small that this is. You have a baby, this baby is, Yoda. This is going to be a baby, baby Yoda. Yes, it is. All right. Here we go. Here. That works. All right. So we've got, loosen this up a little bit more. Here you go. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Okay. And then we're going to tape it up there so it has its little covering. So, like I said, you can make this um, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, whatever. We chose margaritas, and I already have the mix in there, so we're just going to throw a little bit of mix in our glass, a little bit for Tracy. A little bit for Peggy. I like the green color. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it really does have to be a green color. So whether it be lemonade or just put a little food Gatorade color in or whatever, it really needs to be that color. So, All, All right. right. So then the next thing that we want to do is you want to take your toothpick or your skewer or whatever it is that you decide to do. Um, sometimes if you buy those long fireplace matches and cut them in half, those will also work on um, whatever glass you choose. A so skewer. A skewer would work too. Um, since our glasses are small, we have these little small skewers. So we're going to take our um, small, these are small olives too, not large ones. So these are small olives. And line them up nicely. You're going to line even. them up like little eyes and then you're going to set them up here. And then you're going to take your lime where you had the slit and you're going to set it above the eyes and you're going to 
just kind of set it up there. And then take the other one and also set it up there. Okay, so you want to make your lime cuts very nice and yes, even. Yes, this so one. So he doesn't have one ear bigger than the yeah, other. Yeah, this one is too big, is bigger too. Or he's saying, oh, yo, baby Yoda does not I know, not you want to cut mine? Sure. <laughs> I know, I'll hold, the, I'll hold the plate because the plate is the one. I love this cutting board. I know. <laughs> We know we All don't right, have there a we go. Part. Equal ears. Yes. Now his eyes are out of place. Okay. Got it. There you, you go. You want to slice? Yeah, it I need to make mine a little bit smaller. Right. Also. Thank you very much. You know what it would be way easier? Just to cut if another what? Another piece. There we Peggy, go. Peggy, you're just not another pretty face. There we go. Thank you. Practical. Yep. All so right. So there we go. So we have. I'm so supposed to I know. <laughs> I'm making my angles of my ears different. <laughs> I, know. I know. No, mine are all different. Okay, so here we go. We have eyes, we have ears, we have them dressed. And here's our final prod product right here. Here's our baby Yoda. A little Yoda. baby Yoda cocktail. <laughs> so That's a lot of work, Tracy. It's a lot. It's really not. <laughs> Once you get it done, then you like want to have the time drink. Now. It really isn't. <laughs> But um, this I is like Baby the round Yoda. glass better. The, yep, and like I said, the margarita glasses work really well too. But you need a yeah. little bit longer of, ske of a yep. skewer in order to make the eyes work. So, um, <laughs> cheers to you! Oh yeah, and cheers to Baby to you. Yoda! All and right, here we go. Here we go. Cheers! Whoops! There Happy goes his ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Happy New Year! Possibly Whoops. remove the limes before you drink. Yep. Okay, so now you have two new recipes, one for kids and one for adults. This has been a lot of fun, and I thank you for joining us, and I thank you for joining us, too, Peggy. Thank you, Tracy. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad you were here. So thank you, and we'll see you next time.